IID bomb they breakthrough in stem cell proliferation with a new method stem cells retained the stem cell like nature for up to 51 days a major obstacle in using human mesenchymal stem cells HMS sees to treat a variety of diseases has been successfully overcome by a team of researchers at the Indian Institute of Technology IID Bombay the team led by Dr. Abhijit Majinder from the Institute's Department of Chemical Engineering found hydroplate made of polyacrylamide was a perfect replacement for conventionally used plastic culture plates. Unlike the plastic plates, the hydrogel ensured that stem cells multiplied and retained the stem cell-like nature stemness for up to 51 days 20 generations and differentiated into bone, cartilage or fat cells. The preprint findings are recorded in BioArxiv. When grown on plastic culture plates, the mesenchymal stem cells become large and flat, and also irregular in shape. The cells stop multiplying and growing reached anescence after a certain number of cell divisions. While only a limited number of mesenchymal stem cells can be obtained from the body, a large number of cells is required for clinical applications. The only way to increase the number in the lab is to allow them to multiply. But multiplication to reach the desired numbers is currently not possible using plastic culture plates. And that is where the team's success with hydrogel substrate to grow the cells holds great promise. The problem becomes particularly acute in elderly patients as fewer number of mesenchymal stem cells can be recovered, he says. Novel culture plates. We did see senescence setting in at an early stage of self day 5 to 6 and gradually increasing when plastic plates were used. But in the case of gel, there was an increase in senescence around day 6 but it remained constant after that, says Dr. Majinder. Traction reduced, and the proliferate of nature of stem cells got prolonged when we used the gel. Mesenchymal stem cells adhere to the substrate and the cells tend to contract, causing traction force to set in. The tra traction force applied by cells increases with stiffness of the substrate on which it is grown. Substrate stiffness, possibly via modulating cellular traction, determines how long the stem cells maintain their stem-like nature. Plastic plates have greater stiffness. In John the Pascal's wall gel used in the experiments have only 5 kPa. When we used gels that are too soft 1 to 2 kPa stem cells failed to proliferate. Cells started dividing as we increased the stiffness of the gel. But beyond 5 kPa, the cell spread area size got affected and the ability to maintain proliferation was compromised, said Sanjay K. Gurl from IID Bombay and first author of the paper. When mesenchymal stem cells derived from umbilical cord were cultured on plastic plates and gel, the cells lost their morphology and entered senescence much earlier in the case of plastic plates. Similar results were seen in the case of mesenchymal stem cells derived from bone marrow. While the stem cells maintain their shape and proliferative potential for 33 days and beyond when cultured on gel, the proliferative potential started to reduce after day 15 when grown on plastic plates. That's why we got more cells at the end of the experiment when we used gel, says Bankash Maga from IID Bombay and the other first author of the paper. The doubling time time taken for cells to double in number also increased when plastic was used. Thus by 50 days, a huge difference in the doubling time was seen, 512 times more stem cells were obtained when they were cultured on gel than on plastic plates. Put simply, one cell multiplied to become per million cells after 50 days when cultured on plastic plates, while one cell cultured on gel gave rise to 2,000 million to billion cells. We could show that physical microenvironment is associated with senescence. And the use of gel reduces the time taken to attain a large number of cells that can differentiate into specialized cells. This becomes particularly important when we seek to treat patients who are more vulnerable to infection or need immediate therapy, Dr. Majinder says.